Hi, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how to copy a row in a Microsoft list or SharePoint list, as it used to be called. Is it as easy as right clicking? Do you need to do something else? Let's find out in this video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Gavin Jones from MeTime. We help organizations be more efficient, making their employees' lives easier, happening to use Microsoft 365. There's lots of organizations that we work with. I've got SharePoint sites everywhere, files everywhere, too many teams. People lose stuff in teams and chats and channels, don't really understand it. And actually by simplifying everything, we can save a meaningful amount of time per employee per week and getting more out of Microsoft 365. So if you're interested in any of that, then you can check out the free training in the link below or just go straight to book a call to get you your next best step. But on to this video. So if we jump into the list that we made, as you might expect, if you've got a row, you think, well, maybe I'll click the three dots and there'll be a duplicate or a copy and there just isn't anything there. So how do you copy a row? Should you copy a link? Well, that's not going to work. That's just copying a link just to that row. Um, we don't want to comment. There's nothing up in the uh, options when you tick it. How do you copy a row? I just want to copy a row. And the solution is click edit in grid view. Then it turns your list kind of like into an Excel list, really. And if you click, it is some, sometimes is a bit fiddly depending on what you click on. Because if you clicked on here and clicked on the hyperlink, it's going to open the thing for you. It's like, ah, I don't want to do that. If you clicked on uh, uh, somewhere here, it'd like pop up an option. You kind of need to click in the cell, but not actually on the content. If you've got free text, that becomes a bit harder uh, in my experience. But if you do manage to select a cell, um, you can either hit shift and click all the way down and copy the whole row or click on a cell, hold shift and hit the right key to just scroll it all the way over. It's not actually change the view there, which is a bit funny. And then just do, if you try and like right click it, it might go funny. So I think it might just select that one cell there. But if you select the whole row and do command or control C, depending if you're on a Mac or a PC, that's just going to do the same thing you might do in Excel. And then as you might have expected, you can then click add a new row and paste it down below because we've got the ID visible. It doesn't obviously paste the ID because that's got to be a unique number and it'll create the next one for you and copy all of that same information. Now, when I was working for a client that had, had to uh, replicate and build a solution for them in lists, you can actually just select the you know more than one uh, row even. So say we want ten rows copied, we can just copy the whole thing, come down to new item, make sure that the cursor's there, hit uh, Command or Control V, and then it's going to paste those whole ten records for us as copies underneath as well. So check out this video next on how to make Microsoft lists more useful, and hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if this was useful. Let me know any comments you've got. Love to go through the questions and produce a video on it if we've got any more comments on Microsoft lists. Thanks for watching so far and see you in the next one.